Someone you might never have heard of has a lot of power over whether people in your state get arrested for getting an abortion or for what bathroom they use. It's your state attorney general. Three key facts about how these officials impact your rights, how a MAGA organization is coordinating with Republican AGs across the country to impose their ideology on the nation, how you could be helping fund their plan without realizing it, and then one quirky bonus fact. But first, I have a question. Do you know who your own state attorney general is? Please, let me know in the comments. I bet a lot of people don't know. And that's okay. But here's why you should. Number one, your attorney general is your state's top legal officer and has tremendous power over how the law is applied where you live. And in most states, you as a voter have power over who your attorney general is. For instance, when Arizona's Supreme Court ruled that an abortion ban from 1864 should go back into effect, the state's Democratic Attorney General Chris Mays made this promise. No woman or doctor will be prosecuted under this law in our state. Not by me or by any county attorney. Not on my watch. Mays won her election by just 280 votes. In contrast, Texas Republican Attorney General Ken Paxton has threatened to prosecute doctors who perform abortions even in medical emergencies. This is how similar laws can have drastically different impacts depending on who the Attorney General is. But there are also ways state AGs can influence the law nationally. This gets us to number two. The Republican Attorneys General Association, or RAGA, works to elect Republican AGs and supports a nationwide strategy to impose a MAGA vision on the whole country. One way AGs can do this is to bring suits to federal court, specifically shopping for MAGA-aligned judges. In 2021, the Republican AGs of 20 states sued the U.S. Department of Education to overturn protections for trans kids. Out of those 20 states, they chose to bring the case in the Eastern District of Tennessee, where a Trump-appointed federal judge issued a preliminary injunction in their favor. It was six Magaraga AGs banding together who successfully sued to block President Biden's most ambitious student debt relief plan. 15 Republican AGs, led by Kansas' Chris Kobach, are fighting to stop the Biden administration's push to replace lead water pipes across the country. They are literally fighting to keep deadly poisonous lead in children's drinking water. Imagine being pro-lead. Magaraga AGs also try to intimidate private companies. 20 of them, led by Missouri AG Andrew Bailey, threatened action against CVS and Walgreens for providing abortion pills. 13 of them, led by Kobach and Tennessee's Jonathan Scrimetti, wrote a joint letter to the nation's largest companies, including Amazon, Apple, and Microsoft, threatening to sue if they didn't abandon their diversity in hiring policies. Seven, led by Indiana's Todd Rakita, sent a letter to Target suggesting the company might be prosecuted if it didn't curtail its pride merchandise. These are just a few of their actions. Number three, who's funding RAGA? Its biggest funder is the Conrad Fund, a dark money organization tied to MAGA mega donor Leonard Leo, who is currently defying a Senate subpoena to testify about his role in Supreme Court ethics scandals. Leo and his dark money groups have their tentacles in every orifice of our judicial system. He secretly funneled money to Justice Clarence Thomas' wife. He helped organize a luxury fishing vacation for Justice Samuel Alito. He was Trump's unofficial judicial advisor, and he's helping fund Project 2025, which you should Google if you haven't already. So of course, Leo is also invested in electing MAGA AGs. RAGA also takes money from the NRA, the fossil fuel industry, and some companies you might not expect, like T-Mobile, General Motors, and CVS. Yes, CVS, a company that was threatened by RAGA AGs over selling abortion pills, has given over $375,000 to RAGA over the past four years. So you might be unwittingly supporting RAGA when you go to the drugstore. Now it's time for the bonus fact. The plural of attorney general is attorneys general, not attorney generals. As in, 10 states will be electing attorneys general in 2024. You should find out if yours is one of them.